Have you ever wondered how much illegal immigration actually costs us? It's certainly not a question that mainstream journalists, academics, and commentators often ask, let alone try to calculate. In fact, many pro-migration talking heads would have you believe that there are no costs whatsoever. They claim illegal immigration is an economic benefit, bringing in low-skilled labor for jobs Americans allegedly won't do, and even increasing tax revenues. But the reality is that illegal immigration is no free lunch. Many migrants motivated by work or money, which is never a valid reason for asylum, live for years in the U.S. on bogus asylum claims, working and often remitting significant amounts of money, while they and their children cost the American taxpayer thousands. A recently released FAIR study found that illegal aliens and their U.S.-born children cost American taxpayers a gross total of $182 billion. Their net cost totals $151 billion every year as of 2023. This is a 30% increase just from 2017. Each illegal alien and U.S. born child of illegal aliens, almost 21 million people in total, cost the U.S. $8,776 annually, and all those expenses add up to $957 annually for every American taxpayer. What about taxes paid by illegal aliens? The truth is, those only cover a mere 17%, just one-sixth, of the total costs created by those illegal aliens and their U.S. born children. Where, exactly, is this spectacular burden on the American public coming from? By far, the largest cost is the $77 billion that local, state, and federal taxpayers shell out to educate the children of illegal aliens. Three-fourths of these K-12 students lack the necessary English language proficiency, which means they need far more time, attention, and resources. Justice costs come in second, at nearly $47 billion. This includes the cost of arresting, trying, incarcerating, and removing illegal aliens for all sorts of crimes, as well as border security and taking care of illegal alien minors. We spend another $41.7 billion providing health care to illegal aliens and their U.S.-born children. This includes unpaid hospital expenses, Medicaid fraud, Medicaid-funded births, and Medicaid for children. It also includes state programs that give taxpayer-funded coverage to illegal aliens, such as Medi-Cal in California. And that's not all. American taxpayers also fund $13.6 billion in federal or state welfare spending on illegal aliens and their kids, including school meals, food stamps, cash assistance, and childcare and nutrition programs. While these costs are astronomical, there are solutions. We must secure our borders, discourage asylum fraud, and make illegal immigration as hard as possible. Our consistently growing illegal alien population means ever-increasing costs for taxpayers. We must stop the ongoing abuse of immigration parole by the Biden administration. Right now, hundreds of thousands of illegal aliens every year are simply released after being caught, or even being flown into the U.S. under what's known as immigration parole. What many Americans don't realize is this parole status makes them eligible for a huge number of welfare and other public benefits, and it's being used without congressional oversight. Basically, we need policies that prioritize the interests of American citizens, not illegal aliens. For more information, please visit www.fairus.org.